perfume making has been around for centuries and today is an industry that runs into billions of dollars. In recent years, perfumes have evolved into a significant business in the cosmetic and personal care industry. They have emerged as an essential product driven by the growing trend of personal care forming a part of pride and confidence. Today on the program, we shine the spotlight on perfume making business as we'll be meeting the CEO of Crystal Fragrance and Skincare, a made in Nigeria brand who's making a name for herself, the fragrances. I am Coco Lawrence. Welcome to Spotlight Nigeria. Omolola Bukola Ola Awakon holds a BSc degree in sociology from the Olabisi Onobanjo University, Ogun State, Southwest Nigeria. She is an internationally certified perfumer with more than five years experience in the industry. Her love for smelling nice it drove her into the business of perfume making. Growing up as a little girl, I've always loved to smell nice, to look good, and back then I couldn't afford the perfume, so I'll take uh, my powder as a little girl and spray it on my body. So it makes me spell, uh, smell nice for some period of time. So growing up with it, I, after secondary school, I feel if there's anything I want to learn to make and do to myself as a business, it will be perfumery. I didn't even know that it would be as fast as possible like that after I finished uh, tertiary institution. Omolola decided to go abroad to get the training she needed to be certified and turn her passion to a lucrative business. I've gone through trainings, but the two major trainings that, that, made, that made everything turn around about perfumery was the training I had in Nigeria from Lafayette Perfumery. After then, I had a, I had a training in Nigeria from Lafayette Perfumery. After then, I started making perfumes on my own. I started, started uh, experimenting so many things, give to people, sell and all that. Then afterwards, I decided to, to, to go offshore to look for ideas like, okay, what can I do more to make my perfume business? Um, I'll sell it here, I'll sell it all over the world, but with an international standard. So that, that was when I went for the training in Dubai by Lael um, Perfume Institute, which was uh, the lead curator was um, a white woman, Melanie Jane. I think she has moved to France now. So she was the one that really made me know the in-depth of perfumery and what perfumery is. And I'm glad I had that training. It was a turnaround for me. According to Modo Intelligence, the fragrances and perfumes market is expected to be worth $72.3 billion by 2024. The global perfume market size was valued at $31.4 billion in 2018 and is expected to expand at a CAGR of 3.9% from 2019 to 2025. According to statistics, Nigerians are known to be among the biggest consumers of perfumes in the world. Likewise, the growing trend of perfume makers in the country. But how do some of these perfumers source their materials? Well, I source my material internationally. I source, uh, I source some from Dubai, some from France, and my bottles from China. Omolola started her business with 15,000 Naira, which was half her salary at the time. Having learned the art of perfume making and producing her unique brands, Omolola created her target market. I sell my brand because I, I used to say that my brand is just for everybody because my motto is just for you. So anybody that loves, an average Nigerian that loves to smell nice, my perfume is for the person. So I do bits, ranges of 5,000 there. I do bespoke perfumes. Bespoke perfumes in the sense that it's not everybody that wants to smell the same way everybody's smelling. Some people want to smell differently and they want to own their own smell. So such people walk up to me and I try to do a bespoke from them. 
but in form of I can like my nose my nose can be borrowed for anybody that does not have the nose to produce you don't have the time you can produce yourself we don't even need to tell the whole world that we made uh, we we created your perfumes for you just use our nose as the brand we will sign a memorandum of understanding and you have your brand and label it and label it it's as simple as that starting a perfume business is just like any other business but requires some form of skill creativity and passion omolola tells us what it takes to be a good perfumer to be a good perfume maker firstly you need to have the passion because I used to tell so many people that have trained under me that there's a difference in wanting to know about something. There's a difference, there's a difference in um, having the passion for it. You can learn hard work, you can learn passion. That's just it. So for you to be a very good perfumer, you have to have the passion, that's one. Two, you have to go through training. You can't just wake up someday. There are some, there's no how. You can't know the practical without knowing the theory. I can't know the theory without knowing the practicals. You have to do you have to know your salt and onions, where this fits in, where this does not fit in. You have to know so much about that. And you can only know that through series of trainings. So even with trainings, you still need mentorship. I have my mentors in perfumery. My mentors are like Faith, Faith Amenike. She's my mentor. She's now my she's Faith One Neri now. We have like uh, El Olo. They are my uh, Melanie Jane, they are my mentors in perfumery. Wale Jano, the Sapphire, is, is, they are my mentors. I look at them from afar and I see what they do. I see the way they, 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 they project their brand. So you can't just wake up one day and say, oh, I'm a perfumer. What trainings have you gone through? So you have to go through a series of training and also get a mentor to be a very good perfumer. I want to put you through the way I do my mixing and this is my table. Uh, I have my 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 instrument here which I use in making perfumes. So this is the 60 ml bottle. This bottle was imported from China which uh, we hope that someday we will also have this produced in our country Nigeria. This is a beaker. Is an instrument for mixing perfume. This is what we use in mixing perfume. So this is a stirring rod, which is used to stirring the the hoys and the alcohol used in, in perfume. This is the uh, pipette. It's used to picking us. It used to it used to measure oil picking from one uh, from one place to another, so it to be easier for you. So we have um we have our alcohol. This is our alcohol. The perfumers are called like six percent food volume. We have a, a glycol mixed with um, mixed with the perfumers are called mixed already here. I call this my little secret. It has to be in my 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 work for it to last long and be good. So we have various kinds of perfume products here that I work with. So. They are, they are, uh, in making perfume, you actually need to know the kinds of fragrance family each oil falls into for you not to go and make a mistake or you should not know if this oil fits, if this uh, oil in this family fits in another oil in another family. So we have a family like florals, we have woods, we have different kinds of oils and um, some people will say that what's the, what's, we will ask that was the difference between um, a perfume and a oil, a perfume oil. A perfume oil comes in its raw form and it's not everybody that wants the raw form on their skin. So for the fact that uh, the, the, the oil has gone through processes, for it to be a perfume does not mean it will not smell nice or it will not last longer. You just have varieties of opportunities to work with. That's just different. We have our beaker. We have our steering rod. This is a measuring cylinder. It has a 10 ml, 20 ml till 100 ml. We have a perfumer's alcohol. Let me do this alcohol of 10 ml. This is 10 ml. 
Measurements are very important when it comes to perfume making. They are very, very important. So before you graduate to this process, when you want to learn perfume, you must have gone through a series of trainings. You must have known what you are doing. So my perfumers are calling 10 ml and my glycol in another 10 ml. So now what I'll do is I'll put the 20 ml substance into my beaker. Don't forget this is a beaker. No amount of perfume is too small. Every drop counts in perfumery. Every drop of any substance counts. Don't forget that, please. So you, you put it by the side and stir. Stir about 15 minutes. So the reason for stirring is you want the alcohol and glycol to mix together for you to get into each other. That's why stirring rod is very, very important. So now, depending on the kind of oils I want to use, it is a what I'm making. It's a flower. It's, this oil I'm using is a is a is a is a, a floral family. It's sourced from um, from flowers. It's sourced from flowers. So don't forget, I'm doing 60 ml and I have 20 ml already. So let me do 20 ml of this. This is 20 ml of the raw perfume oil. And there's one thing a cylinder does. Because you've poured the oil inside it, it's not together yet, it's still separated. You can see the, the separation of the two colors in the cylinder. So not until you pour back into your mixture. As a perfume, you have to be, you have to be careful about you have to be careful about the way your perfume turns out to be so now i have my my small little secret here which three drops is fine one two three so you now move together this is as clean as crystal so I can pour back into my cylinder now and see what, what exact um, ML do we have. So we have it in exact 60 ml and just two inches. So now for that, get your air bottle. When you want to open, you open as if you want to close it and you open it. Then the cylinder also helps you to get the real grip of your bottleneck for you not to spill at all. So that's that's the beauty in it. Then you pour gradually. You don't rush this process, please. So now that's what we have. Six M is always the neck of the bottle. So you put together. This is a refillable bottle. There's, always, there's also bottles that we cork and they are not refillable. But for now, my clients prefer the refillable bottles. Then you close, then we have our perfumes. best way to wear your perfumery is when you when you wear it on your skin don't rub it off it kills the molecules inside the perfume and to make it last longer you can wear on your neck on the areas when when you go you come in contact with people you can wear on your wrist but people are fond of putting it together it kills the molecules don't 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 do like just wear them leave them and the fact that you want to smell nice and let them know that yeah, doesn't mean you should choke one another. So be minimal when it comes. Know the kind of perfumes you wear and wear it right. Your neck, anywhere you want to. Your, either your wrist here, but you don't have to rub together. In order not to kill the molecules.
France has been known as the perfume hub of the world since the 17th century. Also, some parts of the Middle East, like Dubai, have a rich perfume culture and heritage. Over time, many Nigerians have patronized major brands coming from these parts of the world. But how have Made in Nigeria perfumes fared in the midst of the foreign brands? When I first started, uh, it, was, it, was, it was really tough. It was like, ah, I don't want to, I don't want something that will burn my skin. I'm not interested, Do you know what you are doing and all that. But thank God for the few that, 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 that tried it on then, that tested it. It was like, wow, this is nice. I didn't know you could pull off something like this. So from there, the referrals started coming, few souvenirs and all that. That was how I was able to, to buy their heart over, to be able to choose my brand. And from there, there were referrals from here, even as some referrals outside Nigeria that I just, they just love the simplicity of the brand. But for the fact that it's made in Nigeria, even, let me just take down, let me just go down memory lane, even as much as some people didn't um, accept it because it was made in Nigeria. Few people accepted it because of the fact that it's made in Nigeria. They just tell you, I'm patronizing you because your product is made in Nigeria. We want to be proud of Nigeria. So let's start uh, patronizing anything that comes out of Nigeria. And over time, by God's grace, I didn't disappoint them and I was able to keep my head high. There are many challenges that perfumers face in Nigeria, from sourcing for raw materials to packaging. According to reports, presently there is no single manufacturer of perfume bottles in Nigeria and this has posed as a challenge for perfume makers as they have to go as far as China to get bottles for their packaging. Going into a perfume business you have to do your feasibility studies and you have to be ready for the risk that comes with it. Okay let me say the major challenge in perfumery is like okay sourcing for your rare oils, because there are different types of oils. Sourcing for your rare oils, sourcing for your bottles, sourcing for everything you use. So you should, you should be, it's a challenge, but well, at least you should be ready to accept it and know that at the end of the day, you eat your target and you meet your goal. So it's really been, a, it's, it's really been um, a challenge when you order something now, you want to order it back, the price is high because of the dollar rate and all that but you still have to keep going. I see people uh, trying, striving as much as possible to travel down to China and blow their own bottles and bring and even produce here. So it's, it's a matter of time. Like I used to say, the perfume industry, we've not started, we are just scratching the surface. So when, when the full time has come, when everybody now, everybody is now sensitized about, oh, perfume industry, this is, this is, this is that, I'm sure everything will fall in line. But before then, we have to accept the challenge and move on. The perfume making business in Nigeria is an industry that is still being tapped into, full of potentials and being embraced by the private sector. But what role can the government of the day play to make it easier for the perfume maker? I think um, firstly there has to be um, a, an acceptance from our industry, like let them, let, 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 um, let Nav dark registration be easy. Let them make it easier that it's not until you have a very, uh, you have a factory or you have something big before they can, uh, you can start the process and they, they, they give you your Nav dark number and all that. When it's easier like that, we'll, we'll be closer to the government. The people will be our uh, intermediary and we'll be much more closer to the government and, we'll, and, we'll, and we'll, we'll be able to do more. And our brands will be recognized more all over the world simply because our own country even accepted us, our people accepted us. So why, why, why is it that the, uh, the international community will not accept us the way we are? So that's, that's, so that's the way I feel the government can fill up that gap. One of the lead perfumers in the world, not just the lead perfumer, like, a, a, a brand that will be for all. I want to be the, I want to be the one to, to let the people up there know that, that know about perfume already, to continue to, to use perfumes because perfumes are nice. There's, there's no two way about it. And at the same time, I want to still be the person 
to come to the grassroots and, and let them know how 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 important perfume is like the woman selling pepper do not ah when you use this no matter how cheap i'm still looking for a way to cut across all stratas for you to know that okay oh, this is one of the importance of perfume so in the next five years i want to be one of the lead performers in the world an enabling environment will create more opportunities for many more like Omolola to go into this kind of business and bring about more revenue into the economy. With a large production of made in Nigeria fragrances and perfumes, Nigeria will be less reliant on the imported brands.